Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at my collection of 1911s. I've said it often, I'm a huge fan. Love 1911s and I've got a variety to show here. So it's basically a show off session and we'll start with this Magnum Research Desert Eagle U. You can see it's inscribed right there, U. That stands for undercover. It's a subcompact 45 ACP with a three inch bushingless bull barrel. Aluminum frame, stainless steel slide, and G10 grips. Looks great, shoots great. Serrated black rear sights, adjustable elevation and windage. You can see it's made in the Bull Factory in Israel. But it does have a trigger that I'm measuring right at four pounds. And, and it's a shooter. Six round magazine, and with seven rounds loaded up, it's weighing in at 31 ounces. Beautiful and functional. That's why I love 1911s. A couple months ago, I picked up this pair of USA Expert in a trade deal, and I'm very happy with it. Now this 1911 is chambered in 45 ACP, 45 Super, and 450 SMC. The previous owner made some modifications to it that allows it to fire those heavier loads. First off, an Ed Brown barrel. All right, so it's stronger than your standard 45 ACP barrel, a 25 pound recoil spring that is that is heavy, and a flattened firing pin block. And you add those, and now you can shoot the heavier loads. It's a beautiful 1911, approximately 10 years old, but the availability to shoot those heavier loads makes it a little more special to me. I, I did, I shot 45 Super and it was definitely a heavier load. Four and a half pound single action trigger. Trade deal also came with four mags. I've been very happy with this 1911. Here we have a Metro Arms American Classic Compact Commander. That is a mouthful. Check out that hard chrome finish. It is beautiful with the custom wood grip. Says Metro Arms right there. Okay, got the has their logo there. Logo right there. Check out the webbing in that hammer. It, it, it has some accentuated features here that you don't typically see on 1911s. Four and a quarter inch barrel, officer size, so the, the grip's a little bit shorter, has a seven round magazine, 45 ACP, Novak style sights, right? And I am measuring the trigger at five and a half pounds. Single action, of course, this is what you're looking at right there. Metro Arms makes some great 1911s. They price them for the working man's budget, and I've been very happy with this model since day one. Every time I feature this 1911, I get many comments. People say this is the most beautiful 1911 with the color case hardening frame that they have ever seen, and I love it. You can't duplicate color case hardened with the bronze and the purple and the grays. I added the G10 grips to pull out some of the gray in the frame, but this gun is also a shooter. I love it. Magnum Research Desert Eagle 1911G government size, five inch barrel, eight round magazine, a three and a half pound trigger pull. All right, so it does have a light trigger pull. Serrated black rear sights, black front sight. I shoot this incredibly well. Love the gun. Love the look of it. It's going to stick with me forever. You just can't find these. And, and, and it's a one of a kind too because color case hardened can't be duplicated. Just even if you look at the front strap, check that out. I mean, it is really something. And I love showing this beauty off. Here is another subcompact 1911. Check that out. This is the Rock Island Armory BBR 3.1 with a 3.1 inch barrel. It is chunky, short and chunky. All right, and with magazines that carry 10 rounds of 45 ACP, you don't see that too often. G10 grips. This one is an upgrade. Well, let me talk about the trigger. Six pound trigger pull. All right, six pounds. Hardly noticeable with that very short trigger travel but what this has is a ported slide and barrel that cuts down on some of that recoil but 10 rounds in this subcompact 1911 is a bit different and it's it's cool looking you know it's it's got some weight behind it it's all 1911 the feel and the function of it but it's a subcompact 
45 ACP with mags that carry 10 rounds. That's different, and <laughs> I, I value this. I think it's super cool. Here is a new release from Springfield Armory. It's the Ronin, but it is in 10 millimeter with an eight round mag and a hammer forged frame and slide. I like that blue slide with the stainless frame. Laminate grips, looks really sharp. I think it's, it's uh, handsome is the best way to describe it. Two dot rear sight, tactical rear sight with ledge there. You can charge it off a boot or whatever. And then here you have a fiber optic front sight. Trigger weight, five pounds and a nice shooter. At the range, it performed great. I stretched it out to 100 yards, no problem at all. It used the GI style guide rod as well. And I think I mentioned the front serrations, but it's a, it's a stunner. And if you love 10 millimeter, this is very manageable when shooting it. I'm impressed and I really do enjoy this 1911. Here we have a Remington 1911 R1 Limited double stack. They make it in 40, 45, 9 millimeter. This one's in 45. You can see it has a flared out mag well for those quick mag changes, but 15 round mags in 45 ACP. That's that's great capacity. And it's thick, but it's not too bad because the G10 grips are, are thin, so it feels just like any other double stack 45 handgun. Front serrations and a trigger weight that I'm measuring at four and a half pounds but the coating is pvd it does have front serrations there fiber optic front sight lpa adjustable rear sight five inch match grade barrel and it's a shooter i love taking this out you know it, it's very accurate and the way it handles the recoil with that additional weight is nice and i've i've had it for about three years now and it's not going anywhere here's a rock island armory 1911 called the tac ultra combo now it's currently set up for 22 tcm you can see that that barrel there it came with two barrels nine millimeter and 22 tcm and two recoil springs there's the 22 tcm this this round really flies over 2,000 feet per second, but I changed out the G10 grips. I like that right there. It did come with G10 grips, three dot sights, and when shooting 22 TCM, it, it's loud, it's fast, but it's no recoil. It offers no recoil at all, and that's what makes this so much fun to shoot. Major muzzle flash as well, but if, if you like variety, all in one package, the, the combo that, that I picked this up with is is very nice you know i can take out the barrel shoot nine millimeter 22 tcm whatever i happen to have in the range bag and i certainly enjoy it and i love that 22 tcm round custom 1911s are amazing and this one is so special to me the message along with the engraving and the cerakote is uh, outstanding the, the work is incredible we the people it says and over here our right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed founding fathers on the aluminum grip and it, it's just uh, amazing like i i really cherish it now i also have to remind myself this is not a safe queen this this is meant to be shot and it's meant to be shot often it's a commander size four and a quarter inch bull barrel bushing list with a four pound trigger but the work done on this, along with the Desert Eagle line of 1911s, which I find outstanding, this thing is really special to me, and I love showing it off because people look at that and they say, whoa, that really is something. So that featured nine 1911 handguns that I currently own. I really enjoyed bringing them out and revisiting why I love 1911 so much, and I certainly hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.